Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass. Now whenever I get an Android device, the first thing that I do is head over to the Play Store, type in Nova Launcher, and then I download Nova Launcher and Nova Launcher Prime to get some of the more premium features that it comes with. Now the main reason why I do this is because I like a stock look and feel of Android on my Android device, and if I'm using something like a Samsung device, that's not necessarily something that you get with the built-in TouchWiz. Now once I install Nova Launcher, I set it up exactly how I want it to be, with the initial setup screen and then I spend around 10 or 50 minutes customizing it to look exactly as you can see here with my specific folders, the Google Now pane to the left hand side and also the app drawer arranged exactly how I need it to be with all of the applications deleted that I don't use, the icon pack that I want to use fully installed and also some quick settings as well within the applications using a really awesome app that I'm going to be looking at in the future. But the only reason why I do this on any Android device is just to get stock Android and I kind of wish there was an easier way to do it. And hey, maybe there is. So what we're looking at here guys is a brand new launcher called Lawn Chair Launcher. Now it's not the most original name but in terms of the functionality of the launcher this is exactly what I'm looking at to get stock Android on any Android device that I'm currently using. Now it's not available in the Play Store but I will have full links to where you can actually download it in the description down below and keep in mind guys that this is very early access alpha beta kind of style but it's working extremely well so far for me. But that's not to say that it doesn't have its faults. As you can see here, there is a really good community of people that do flag up certain issues or problems that they've got with the actual launcher itself. So again, it's a really good community that's actually helped to build a better launcher over time. And as you can see here, if I go back to my home screen, for example, certain things like the Google Pill widget in the top left hand corner don't necessarily load in straight away unless you were to actually tap on the screen to get that back. So again, it's not the worst thing in the world, but there are some bugs that definitely need ironing out. In terms of the launcher though, this is the quickest way to get stock Android. As you can see here, the folder design is exactly what you'd get on the Google Pixel, as well as the swipe up to get to your application drawer as well. It's all exactly as Google intended it to be, and it works extremely well. You've got a really quick option here to get through your applications as well. And one awesome feature that I love is without having to do anything else to the launcher, you've got Google Now integration right there on the left hand side, which yes, is something that you can now do with applications like Nova Launcher and Action launcher but you have to do some other tweaks and things to get that active whereas here it's there straight from the get-go you've also got the same options for the wallpapers the widget selector and also the settings as well however the settings take you into the lawn chair settings which are very minimal now that's not to say that it's a bad thing you've got certain things like transparent dark you can extract the accent color from the wallpaper for example have a fully dark theme and also enable blur which actually looks really good now anytime you change settings and go back it does respring the launcher but as you can see here you've got a really nice blur effect down the bottom now instead of the kind of white hue that you'd normally have and it also changes the pill in the top left hand corner as well which some people may or may not prefer me personally though i think it looks really awesome and it's something slightly different to stock android which isn't a massive change but it still looks really good you can also change the blur radius and use different color icons for the google logo as well and you can also hide icon labels on your home screen to get a really minimal look and feel You've also got some options here to change the icon and text scaling on your home screen as well and you've also got notification badges and preview which are ripped straight out of Android O. Now again you do need to enable this within the settings themselves but once you're done and set you're pretty much ready to go and you've got everything there that you need to get everything set up to have that little dot on your icons and also some quick settings to access certain notifications. In terms of pixel style options you can use a wider search bar, put on the Google Assistant button and just in general change the search bar at the top to look completely different as you can see here. Now personally I'm not necessarily a huge fan of this, I do prefer having the date on the right hand side and then I have the Google Peel on the left hand side but I do like to have the Google Assistant button turned on as it gives you really quick access to Google Now and also the Google Assistant as well and again you can see here with the date it hasn't yet come into play but again that will have pop in as you can see just there. 
In terms of behavior, you do have certain options in here like a lighter status bar, pull down for notifications instead of doing it just at the very top, vibration, access, home button to open the app drawer for example, and you can also show and hide different applications that you maybe don't want to actually have on your device. Now using something like I am here with a Samsung device for example, you definitely want to play around and get rid of certain applications that you're never going to use. I use Android Pay instead of Samsung Pay, and I also use the Google equivalents of the calendar, you know, contacts, the phone, and all these sorts of applications which Samsung replicates on their devices, which is something that I don't necessarily need. And hiding applications couldn't be easier. As you can see here, I've got some icon packs that I don't want to actually show up in my app drawer. So I long press on one, click on the edit button, and then just change the visibility to off. And then when I go back, it's then going to disappear completely. Now you saw beforehand that you can get that back from the behaviors menu within the settings for the launcher, but it's a really great way to actually get rid of some applications that you're never really going to use and to clean up some space in your app drawer. Now there are some other options like importing or exporting certain settings from other launchers, but for me to get stock Android on my device with a really quick and easy step is definitely what I'm looking for. And as I mentioned before, you've got quick access to notifications by tapping and holding on one of the applications itself, and you can also get to the widgets really easy through there as well. However, it doesn't work for every application and it is quite minimal in terms of what it works for at the moment, but again, I'm sure this is definitely going to be updated over time. If you do want a long press to get access to something like a recent email, for example, there's a great way to do that for a bunch of applications that are currently enabled, like Instagram, Hangouts, Gmail. So it's a really great way to get quick access. And that is going to do it guys for this video. Now, as I mentioned, all links for this launcher is going to be in the description down below. And if you've got any questions or comments about this, let me know in the comments section or on Twitter at Copper versus Glass. Now, does this mean that I am going to completely get rid of Nova Launcher on my device? Well, actually, yeah, for the meantime, I am going to uninstall Nova Launcher, see how I get on and see if there are any sort of features or anything that I am going to miss in the future. But for the meantime, guys, I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And don't forget guys, if you want to be one of the first people to see this video or future videos, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell to get notified anytime I post a new video.